Here at Simply Garden, with over 50 years of gardening experience, I believe in keeping things simple and productive while gardening in your own backyard. Well, this afternoon I'm going to plant sunflower seeds, and uh, what I do is I interplant them along the edge of the uh, peas here, because what happens is the peas start growing up. Um, the sunflowers kind of exceed them, and then as the peas wrap up, the sunflowers take over in the middle bed here. Like I said, this bed here, I'll probably have cantaloupe growing. The further bed of peas further out there, I'll have um, butternut squash growing in the middle. So around the edge here, I'm going to plant uh, sunflower seeds. i got two varieties here. One's a uh, yellow sunflower, one's a, a mixture of sunflower color. And um, these are both by Burpee. And just say uh, they say the plants in every, uh, every uh, foot or so, 18 inches. What I do is I plant about two seeds together in one spot. Then I just thin out to the one that didn't make, you know, take one of them out. That way I make sure every spot gets something. So this is an assortment of different types of sunflowers here. And I uh, almost got my toe with my shovel. <laughs> so, so I just go like this here, just plant along. I think they said plant them every um, uh, inch depth. I can see you got diff different varieties in here. You got, you got smaller seeds, bigger ones. So it's a mixture of different types of sunflowers in this package. But bees love it. Um, come uh, into from pretty much from middle of August, these guys start uh, blooming. And the bees just go crazy with them. They also make nice cut flowers for inside. Family loves it. I enjoy doing it for them. And when I get done with these here, I'll come back and give it a nice little drink of water. So like I said, about every foot, um, just estimating that 12 to 18 inches. There we go. 15 inches, that's fine. Just um, I can remember myself not to come through and cultivate on this side too heavily. It makes a little bit of a challenge, but I done it long enough to know better. Just give yourself a little space because I know there's some flowers on the outside edge here. There we go. Turn down an inch. As far as fertilizing, I don't worry too much about it. There's, there's plenty of nutrients in the soil. Um, anything they get off the, the peas head, the sunflowers do just fine. They're, not too, they're pretty, pretty easy to grow. They make a nice attraction to the garden also. Been doing this for years, like this. I used to cut, grow the real tall, um, called mammoth sunflowers, but the the ladies like to have the pick flowers available, so and I also find the bees like it a lot this way too. There we go. Sometimes the peas do get in the way a little bit, so I I might lose a few plants in the process, but it all seems to work out okay. Right, we'll go on this side here. Doesn't take very long. It's a pretty quick process here. And they do dry out, and the birds actually come and eat some of these seeds too. They're pretty, they're pretty tiny ones here, but um, the birds seem to enjoy the. Once they're past pollen, they the birds come through, and when they start drying out, they clean them off. Blue jays especially love these things. I guess my thank you back to him for eating all the bugs in the winter to summertime. Alright, we'll continue along with that, and that's how you simply plant uh, sunflower seeds.